When I was a young lawyer looking to make a difference, Dr. Jones was the ultimate inspiration. He was an attorney, a writer, an activist. He did it all. During the Civil Rights Movement, when those who were threatened by Dr. King tried to tarnish his reputation, it was Dr. Jones who joined a team of distinguished attorneys to fight back. When Dr. King was thrown in a jail cell in Birmingham, it was Dr. Jones who helped secure the money for his release. And as Dr. King prepared for the March on Washington, it was Dr. Jones who helped pen one of the most iconic speeches in history. Even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. was the preeminent apostle of nonviolence and love in the 20th century. 50 years ago, when I helped Dr. King write that famous speech, we wanted to communicate a vision for change that would improve civil rights and democracy in America. And I'm proud to say that 50 years later, we have seen dramatic progress, but our work continues. Qualitatively different, but similar to police dogs biting young African-American boys and girls and putting fire hoses on them in Birmingham, Alabama. Among other things, that's what aroused and shocked the conscience that enabled him to subsequently have a march on Washington, the I have a dream speech. But what is happening is that the conscience of America is, I believe, being shocked again and awakened, principally by the underlying events themselves, but also co-principally by something new that has emerged in this generation. And that is the implacable determination to say, no, 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 this is gonna end. Enough is enough. <laughs>